The joyful mystery of Easter is so great it cannot be contained in a single day. Therefore, the Church's celebration of Easter lasts for 50 days, culminating in the Feast of Pentecost. During the 50 days of Easter, it is the tradition of the Church to read aloud the Acts of the Apostles. Join us as we enter into this ancient practice together, reading a short portion of Acts each day for 50 days. But first take a moment, light a candle, take a breath, and pray for the coming of the Holy Spirit. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now when Peter was greatly puzzled about what to make of the vision that he had seen, suddenly the man sent by Cornelius appeared. They were asking for Simon's house and were standing by the gate. They called out to ask whether Simon, was, who was called Peter, was staying there. While Peter was still thinking about the vision, the spirit said to him, look, three men are searching for you. Now get up, go down and go with them without hesitation for I have sent them. So Peter went down to the men and said, I am the one you're looking for. What is the reason for your coming? They answered, Cornelius, a centurion, an upright and God-fearing man who is well spoken of by the whole Jewish nation, was directed by the holy angel to send for you to come to his house and to hear what you have to say. So Peter invited them in and gave them lodging. The next day he got up and went with them, and some of the believers from Joppa accompanied him. The following day, they came to Caesarea. Cornelius was ex expecting them and had called together his relatives and close friends. On Peter's arrival, Cornelius met him and falling at his feet, worshiped him. But P Peter made him get up saying, stand up, I'm only a mortal. And as he talked with him, he went in and found that many had assembled. And he said to them, you yourselves know that it is unlawful for a Jew to associate with or to visit with a Gentile. But God has sent me that I sh should not call anyone profane or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without objection. Now may I ask why you sent for me? Cornelius replied, four days ago at this very hour at three o'clock, I was praying in my house when suddenly a man in dazzling clothes stood before me. He said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard and your alms have been remembered before God. Send therefore to Joppa and ask for Simon, who is, who is called Peter. He is staying in the home of Simon, a tanner by the sea. Therefore, I sent for you immediately and you have been kind enough to come. So now all of us are here in the presence of God to listen to all that the Lord has commanded you to say. I wonder what words or phrases, images, actions, or characters stand out for you. What questions do you have? What do you notice? What do you wonder? What part of this reading is especially for you? Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. 
Come no spirit, Maranatha, come no spirit.